Jesus. Got my new boots on. They feel very, very nice. Very supportive of my weak feet. And they look cool. Which is probably the most important thing. There's no point having gear which doesn't look cool. The Scarpa, Scarpa GTX something or other pros. It's quite dry. There's no puddles and mud. It's very dry actually, it's kind of weird. I thought it would be dirty, muddy. But there's not even any gel on anything. It's kind of weird. It's nice. It's nice and crisp, but not all moist and humid. Look at that frost. Tense. Frosty. Some nice icicles. Been walking for about an hour, hour and a half or something. The sun partially reaching down into this valley. It's still pretty cold. Looks like there's some good snow on tops. It'd be cool if I could pitch the tent on the snow. Frost on the top of the trees. The growler, once again. A man with the growler. Time for a coffee. Oh, fitness has gone down. My pack's heavy. A filter brew is needed in a one spare meal. Boots are feeling pretty good. Maybe a little bit of rubbing on the heel, but not much. Pocket rocket. Oh yeah. We want the water going in the same speed as the water going out to maintain a stable temp in the coffee slurry. for a better chance of a good brew. Extraction. A good brew. Got my new Brazilian coffee. It's just sweet chocolate. Apple. brown sugary spicy fudge succulent hmm look at these boats pretty cool boats 
the soil's very open. Yummy. Snow's melting on Gordon's. No, Arthur still looks pretty cold. Agnes Copper Spur Expedition The Great Clint ground's frozen usually it's quite wet here but everything's frozen so I don't have to worry about any water beneath the tent which is quite good hold got a good view of Gordon's pyramid Big spider. Holding here the dome. Ah. Let's get some stuff inside. This thermo rest bed. Look at the size of this thing. It's ridiculous. This is not really suitable for backpacking. I mean it's comfort it's real comfortable and it's warm. But this and my winter sleeping bag takes up that much space on my back. Plus the tent, there's not much room for anything else. If I got a better bag and a, well, a, like a 950 loft quilt and the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm, I could probably get it down to the size of just this and half the weight. Which is what I might do. This thing is cool though. Kind of excited about it. Look at it. The green. And the Mac Pack Latitude 700. I don't think they make this one anymore. They've changed to, it's called like the Dragonfly or the Ascent or something. 
Whoa. The green slug. <laughs> Got my two beers. I'm going to put these down here in the refrigerator area. It's pretty, it's pretty cold. Hopefully they don't freeze. Look, there's Gordon's. And this is my house. I need to start gathering supplies for my fire. I'll construct a fire pit here with rocks. But first, I have a shake and a cup of tea. And we'll begin the scavenge. Got my fire pit set up. There's two two chunks of wood up at the rock shelter. What a score. This is the setup. Dead beach. And another one. Two big dead beaches. Heaps of wood. Got the first load of wood. Man, beach is heavy wood. Whew. I think I'll get one more load. And that should do it. Beach. This big block. Go away, Wicker. Chopped up heaps of wood. Ugh. It's hard work. Gonna make up a two. Maybe have a soup. Here a plane. Then maybe light the fire and have a beer. I don't know, we'll see. Got my tea brewing. This is my new bit of gear. Morrican bushcraft knife made in Sweden. It's quite a nice little knife, got a nice grippy handle. It's got a little sharpener on there and it's got a sick barrow rod. Wee. So we can start some fires, baton some logs, make some spears to get the wicker.
I don't think a spark will catch this. Maybe if I do it real fine, it will. These things. Do you reckon? I don't reckon. We'll see, eh? All good in the wood. It's getting cold. I couldn't use my flakes, my wood flakes, and my ferro rod to start a fire. I'm gonna try again after the cup is here. But, I have to refer to some YouTube videos to learn what to do. I could just use my fire starters. It's probably about four o'clock, starting to get cold. I need to get my fire going. Pretty nice here though. Going down through the trees. Got some chippies. And they got salmon, pesto pasta with cherry tomatoes for dinner. That'll be delicious. Right. Let's try and baton something. Shouldn't be too hard. Ugh. That works pretty good. Handling. Knife doesn't seem to mind it. On. Fire out. Get all that wood. Get this fire going. Doesn't want to go. Oh, come on. That worked. Bushcraft. Go away, Wicker. Knife. Go away. Oi! Piss off, man. Silly Wicker. To pack all my stuff away.
125 grams. I'm going to put that, these cherry tomatoes, and mix it with this pesto and some cream and my pasta spirals. herbs and spices make a big pasta feast should be quite delicious fire's going pretty good now first I'd have a chip Delightful. Look at that one. <laughs> Might have a beer. What was the time? Four forty two. I think it's time for a beer. What do we have first? Let's try this. Ubernaut Disco. Hey, whales. Let's see what it's like. Give it the smell test. Ooh. Smells crisp. Kind of like a lager. Wow, that's like a lager, but the best lager I've ever had. Whoa. Man, that champagne yeast. Fermented again with the champagne use. Wow. That's real nice. Six point five percent. Man. So citrusy for a lager. So clean. I'd probably give that one a, that's an 8.5, that's the most high scoring lager I've ever had in my life. Ubernaut is the best. Mm. Delicious. Highly rate that one. Nice sunset, but don't get a very good view of it from here. Kind of sad. Whoa! The wicker! The wicker! It's the wicker! 
screeching. Got another beer. Epic cry pop. Indian pale ale. Will it beat the Uber North? Definitely smells more IPA like. Mango citrus. Interesting. It is much more stone fruity. I don't know how I'd describe that, I have to think about it. Hmm. There's definitely the mango rock melon. But then there's, there's also the crisp grapefruit. Actually, after a few sips, my fire is roaring. The wood was pretty dry actually. Not bad. It's a mission to get it though. It's a nice spot, it takes about four hours to walk here. Nah, not four hours. Well, it seemed like it took me four hours to do. Maybe three. Nice, pretty easy walk, but still a decent walk. And it's just a nice spot. It would be cool if you had a bit better views, but. There's lots of good wood around and it's nice and sheltered. I like it. I think I do prefer the cob though. Mm. The beer's good. Biolite. Night show. Trippin'. Coming closer, go away! Fucking... Get away! Wickers stress me out. This light's cool. A nice camp spot. Hmm. 
having the knife and being able to baton and split the beech logs into smaller pieces definitely aids in lighting a bit of fire. It's hard to get beech burning, especially when it's slightly damp. It's a hard wood. Once it's going, it burns really hot. Like my fire's now drawing air properly and burning good. But it takes a bit. The knife's good. So yeah, I like the knife. I will get better at using it. The saw is a beast. The Silky Pocket Boy Outback. What a great purchase. It's only like $70 or something. Look at that. It's so hot. I'd probably be freezing if I didn't have this. I'm nervous about melting my boots in the fire. I did it to my oboes. The soles came off, but I re-glued them. Fire's good though. I don't have a whole lot of wood left. That's the wood I've got left. And there's another big log over there I can chop up. So yeah, I probably should think about starting dinner soon. Dinner time. Boil this water and cook faster. The fire's going good and oil as well. Pasta's on. Good. Yeah, this fire's dying down a bit. It's looking like a tasty meal. Creamy pesto salmon pasta with cherry tomatoes. Quite nice. Tasty meal. Pretty easy as well, just in one pot. Mmm. It's a good meal. The chili flakes definitely were a good choice. Lots of stars out tonight. Clear night, it'll be cold this tomorrow morning. Went down to the stream, got some water. Everything is frozen. This thick ice over all the plants and the ground is completely frozen and the water dripping down the path was solid ice. It was a treacherous journey, but I returned safely. I burnt most of my wood. 
<coughs> the leftover water's freezing in my cup. Oh. Might have a hot chocolate and go to bed. What is the time? Eight o'clock. I think my fire was going from about three o'clock. Pretty good, really. There is two more logs, so I'm not going to cut them up. I'll let this die out. If I didn't have the fire, I'd be freezing. Right, hot chocolate. Jar of dark once again. Shit. It's gone everywhere. Hear wind in the trees. Right. Chalky. Get me a hot chalky. in the tent so much room unless there's any crazy events in the night there'll be nothing to report on or film or show morning It's cold, it's ice in the tent, it's ice over everything, everything's frozen, but I was warm as in this bag, and on this mat, I was warm, fully warm, cosy and warm, although breathing in this cold air kind of hurts my throat a bit, I don't know how to avoid this. making a coffee and probably just gonna relax in my sleeping bag for a bit all my batteries are like shat themselves too I think because it's cold it doesn't like being so cold but that's all right it's 
pretty good sleep. Oh no, can't be out now. Is it out? Let's guess. What are you doing? Keep it hot. Yeah, I can smell that coffee. I'm really looking forward to this one. Gonna have these oats. With my leftover cream. Back up, back up. It's so cold that the GoPro batteries aren't working. Can't film anything. Not good. Too cold. All packed up. That's where the tent was. Now we're gonna head back out. Cruisy walk. Stop somewhere for a coffee or two. It's a pretty fantastic day. I think the wicker stole some of my stuff. Man, it'll be a nice day to go up onto the mountains. No wind, nice and snowy. Rock shelters. Looking out over the frosty tussock plains. <coughs> it's an awesome spot up here. Gotta be careful walking down here. Slip. This is where I came last night to get my water. Look at this. Frozen. Whoa. <laughs> Dodgy. Making my way to the growler once again. Cold in here.
Hmm. Shiver. Wonder if this gas will work. And we're back. Mm. <sighs> Looks like there's less cars than when I arrived. Another great trip. Successfully completed.